Welcome to sewing class. This is Annette Jolie, and today we are working on darning and patching. So we are going to be working on darning a small hole, and we're going to be using a blanket stitch. So you need your 5 inch width by 10 inch length piece of muslin, and please watch the video preparing a muslin for darning and patching. You need your Guterman thread, snippers, and your hand sewing needle and wax. So go ahead and take your swatch and let's fold this lengthwise and then let's also fold it on the cross grain. Now I have a little spot right in the middle. We're going to go ahead and cut out a very small little hole. And how big is that hole going to be? Look at it. It's going to be maybe about that large. This is darning a small hole, so we don't need one the size of a nickel like in our other demo. We need one uh, very small. So here's a nickel in comparison. This is more like a quarter inch or less. This would be for like a sweater. The double patch I did was like for a denim pant. And the slit was maybe for like a blouse. So here we have this little teeny hole. This is going to be for like a sweater repair or a t-shirt. And you can see how small that is. I'm quartering this up. And we're going to try to go ahead and cut that little circle out. But you just need to take a little bit out. Hardly anything. And let's see what that looks like. Might look like a diamond. Yeah, it does. That's fine. Now go ahead and grab your needle. Let's take a length of thread and you're going to slide that through on your beeswax. I have about a yard of thread. I'm going to go ahead and snip that end. And now let's go ahead and thread our number seven size needle. It's a cruel or hand embroidery needle. For me, often it's something that I can see the eye with. Thread legs. Twist those together and let's tie a knot. And let's tie another knot. Right on top. So we've got three knots. Let's go ahead and trim about an eighth of an inch away. And let's wax our thread again from where you have the knot. down to the eye of the needle. Okay? You can wax that once or twice. But look, now it looks more like it's a single ply, but it's really a double ply. Okay, so we've got a double ply of thread, we put wax on it, looks like a single ply. And now we're going to go ahead and do our blanket stitch and this is going to be darning a small hole. And this is going to be the blanket stitch. And then we're going to have a spider stitch. 
This is going to also be in a circle. Okay, this would be for a sweater or a t-shirt, something that would be knit. Um, on this one, it doesn't matter whether it's the right or wrong side. We can go ahead and say this is the right side of the fabric. I'm going to go in our hole, and I'm going to come up about one-eighth of an inch away from that raw edge. I'm going to pull my thread through, but before I completely throw, pull it through, I need to go ahead and separate the thread legs at the end. I did a good job at waxing them. There we go, I've separated them. And I want to put my needle through that loop and pull that right to the edge, but don't pull it tight. And don't worry that you have a knot and a thread. We're going to do a lot of activity here where we will, uh, you know, not even see that soon. Now you don't want to pull too tight that it makes a pucker. You can trim that a little teeny bit if I need to. <clears throat> now we're going to take our thread and we're going to go back into the circle and we're going to go about an eighth of an inch away from the original line, the original stitch that we took and we're going to come back up and we're going to do the same thing that we just did. We're going to hook it. The first time we just hooked the single ply, now we're hooking the double. And you're going to pull it so it forms a stitch right here on the edge of the circle. We're going to go around in that little circle. So we're going to go in, we're going to come back up about an eighth of an inch away from this stitch. Coming back up, pulling, but before we completely close it, let's go ahead and catch that stitch to form the blanket stitch on the inside of the circle. We're going in again with our needle over about an eighth of an inch, catching that stitch. And now we're moving around. This is what you could also use to darn a sock. And you could use a, uh, a sewing egg. You could also use a thimble. I like my finger right there. I don't draw blood too often. I'm going to go in, catch that stitch, get that blanket stitch on the edge of that circle. It's looking nice. Let's go over, eighth of an inch, come up, catch that stitch, we're rotating our way around. Trying to space our stitches an eighth of an inch apart. This looks good. We have a few more to complete the circle which will be step number one. And then we're going to do an exciting spider stitch inside. It's going to look like a spider's web. We're over another eighth of an inch. We're catching the thread. We're pulling this tight, but not too tight. We don't want any puckers. And like I said, we're trying to make our stitches matching as we rotate around in a circle. If 
just got a couple more. And catch that stitch. Now that could be finished with a knot right on the edge. But we're going to continue on with the spider web stitch in video part number two. See you in a couple minutes.